Hi, so I was playing with my uh, DC uh, Flyback 5i5 timer driver the other day, and the bottom started arcing over, so I put it in oil. So you could see here, it's just a DC Flyback in oil. And I was playing with the driver today, and something weird happened. I was trying to charge the saltwater capacitor you see over here. And it seemed like the capacitor didn't work, because I'll show you what happened when I tried charging it. So here I've connected the high voltage out to the outer aluminum casing of the saltwater capacitor. And here's your high voltage in of the flyback, so we'll see. Well, that's weird. Um, it seems like the arc is traveling right through the capacitor, and I checked, and there's absolutely there's no marks, there's no way it could pass through. So I came to the conclusion that since, and as you could see, it doesn't hold a charge at all. So I came to the conclusion that this flyback is now somehow rendered AC. So somehow, with um, what I was doing and been playing with it. It must have ruined the internal um, diodes of this DC flyback, and now we get an AC arc out of it. So in order to test that for sure, I because uh, AC flybacks are used in in, um, in plasma globes, so something cool happened when you take a light bulb up to it. So it turned into this almost plasma globe-like thing. See, the weird part is, and especially now that I think about it, this is the high voltage out, but it works just the same at the high voltage in. So there's no polarity anymore in the secondary coil. It's all alternating current. They'll both do the exact same thing. You couldn't, you wouldn't be able to do this with a DC flyback.